tough night. Half a billion running out the door. You gonna roll over and die? You think you hit me? You don't even know where my soft targets are. I'm still a two handicap on a golf course, you know. I got the hottest new hotel on the strip. And I'm a shoe in for the five diamond award. Yet again. This town might have changed. Uh, one of very specific and very interesting themes in criminal law as a whole. Sometimes, uh, by the way, uh, the Department of Criminal Law, we have, uh, well, an additional uh, possibility to work with uh, uh, exactly characteristics of complicity or characteristics of uh, abatement uh, or as uh, some people said, in, um, especially in common law countries, so they say Batman, so we have uh, uh, told this uh, phenomenon and mass complicity, but this, uh, the case is uh, very simple and very understandable to all the people, yes. Sometimes people join together to commit a crime, and when they join, when we have uh, uh, elements of uh, well, complicity or abatement uh, in common law, uh, which uh, has to be analyzed during all of our uh, criminal investigations, sometimes it's very uh, popular, especially now uh, it is very popular in the world. Why? The case is that, that uh, you know, um, uh, from the movies, you know, from uh, the detectives and so on and so forth, the criminal world, yes. The criminal world, criminal associations, uh, criminal minds as the whole, they work together or join together in this, the uh, elements of con conspiracy and due to well, the conspiracy as a whole, we are working uh, with them. Sometimes we're working with transnational crime, sometimes we're working with organized crime, and organized crime and transnational crime as a whole, there are always elements of uh, abatement and complicity in criminal law. That's the case. That's the idea which, are, which should be the element uh, under which we are trying to uh, receive not uh, only uh, additional information, but we're trying to, well, uh, as a whole format the idea of what we have to do with the specific elements of complicity. What do we have to do with the, uh, the procedure of their responsibility? Who are responsible for criminal act which are made by the specific group? How could we do that? Sometimes it's very interesting, especially because, well, because uh, the cases of uh, complicity unite uh, a very specific elements uh, or a very specific uh, uh, reasons to do that. Well, when I uh, just advertised this lecture, I uh, find a quotation, the find a quotation from uh, the popular a uh, Hollywood movie, uh, which name is Ocean 13. You remember Ocean 11 with George Clooney or with Frank Sinatra, so Ocean 12 with uh, uh, the help of uh, some brilliant women. Well, in Ocean 13, when they are trying to work the, uh, once more the casinos uh, last week, so there was a phrase, he, uh, shake, the hand, Sinatra's hand. What does it mean to shake Sinatra's hand? It is. It means that we are trying to 
get to the scene and begin. And now the end is here, and the end is near, pardon me. And so I face the final curtain, my friend, I say it's clear, and so on and so forth. Well, there's no choice to uh, sing a song on Sinatra, but the idea, to, well, to get or to shake a hand of Sinatra, what does it mean? From one point of view, Frank Sinatra is the brilliant singer. From the other point, he was a friend of uh, some uh, representatives of organized crime. From the third point, he was, well, an actor who played the role in Ocean Eleven, the first uh, movie which was released in uh, the beginning of this, or in the end of the 50s or the beginning of the 60s, I don't remember that. So the idea is that Frank Sinatra, to shake the Frank Sinatra's uh, hand, means that we are uh, coming in this situation when there is a spe specific rules of procedure, specific rules of for behavior, specific rules of behavior for uh, organized crime organized group or mafia for uh, the case. And when we're shaking the hands, it means that we are joining this group in some uh, understanding a way. But we have the same information and we have the same situation at the moment when we are trying to uh, analyze it. So let's begin to work with the, the notions. Yes. Okay, I'll try to get Miss Maria, but there's something wrong with that. So, uh, okay. The notions, uh, Batman or a complicity, what does it mean? A person, a bet of doing something uh, with the specific uh, elements which are Oh, uh, analyzed in the criminal law. When we use our criminal code, the criminal code of Ukraine, so we have a specific chapter, a chapter seven, it's a chapter seven of uh, six, pardon me, of the criminal code. This is uh, chapter six, abetment and crime or complicity. So, as usual, we say here in this country, we say uh, uh, complicity. In Article 26, of uh, Ukrainian criminal code just told us about the notion of complicity. It's very simple. A complicity is, well, a specific uh, intentional activity of uh, uh, a group of subject of crime, or no, not group, but, but some of some of subjects of crime. Uh, in commission or mission of uh, uh, intentional crime. That is a very specific element. So that is, just try to understand, we have two character, main characteristics. One of them is connected with uh, that, uh, that we have a physical person, a subject of crime. Uh, we have some physical person who instigates another person to do something or instigates another person to engage one or more person in committing uh, or in any conspiracy of committing a crime of illegal, if illegal omission takes part. So we have uh, the, the notion where illegal omission means uh, one part Intentional omission, which is the second part, the group of people means the third part, this group of people should be uh, working intentionally, and this group of people should uh, uh, well, work intentional uh, or should intentionally organize their common activity uh, with only the situation what we have uh, when we have uh, uh, subjects of crime. What does it mean? It means that we have objective and we have a subject uh, characteristics. Object characteristics mean that we have a group of subject of crime, yes. And this group of subject of crime uh, uh, omits or commits a specific uh, criminal act. But uh, the subjective characteristic means that this group of people has a 
preliminary or, or uh, abatement will be, if crime should be made by uh, only by intentional behavior. Uh, and uh, the second way that uh, this intentional behavior should be connected with intentional crime. So one can say that with, there's a very big discussion, especially in spe specific literature, if you want to, you should find, uh, for example, uh, one of the brilliant works of, uh, uh, you know, that we have the greatest minds of uh, uh, in Ukrainian uh, legislators. So this uh, professor was, uh, the greatest in the field when, when we say about the the problems of uh, complicity. So, Fedor Burchak and uh, his works uh, on complicity, you will find it at every library. Uh, they are the basis of elements when we're trying to understand what complicity is. Yes, there is a time, there is a new voice, the new works on new doctoral theses which are uh, combined by the new elements of uh, complicity uh, that were not analyzed by Burchak. I mean, uh, at first, the, the, the characteristics of criminal conspiracy or the characteristics of uh, uh, new elements of uh, criminal understanding what they have to do with the situation, but the basis is in that. For example, if you want to say some words about the characteristics of the crime as a whole, we are working with the uh, monographs of Pionkovsky. If you want to uh, get any information about the characteristics of homicides, we are working with the words and the works of uh, Mr. Sharbirovsky or we have to, sometimes we have to uh, get additional information about, uh, uh, about, about uh, for example, object of crime and work with the uh, monographs of uh, Professor Tatsi. That's an element of our, no, not of no, no, our no, it's life, but that's an idea when we are, working together and we will we'll take uh, and have the possibility to use the first monographs in the theme. It would be very simple. You know, that's, uh, I'm, very, I'm not very happy with, by the practice of for modern students, and modern studentship as a whole, that we're, when we're taking um, a words and then elements of uh, copy paste, you know, we take a part, some monographs, new monographs and so on and so forth and put it in our uh, worse. From one point of view, that is a plagiarism. From the second point of view, that is not under we are not understanding what they have to do with the situation of the old days. Yes, sometimes it would be more sophisticated, more understandable to us to analyze some elements of crime when we use, for example, uh, monographs of for uh, training or uh, well, uh, monographs of Tagantsev, Hoynitsky, and so on and so forth. Pardon me, just, just look at this, uh, this book. Elementary textbook of criminal law. Mr. Kisle, Professor Kislekivsky. It is only 906 pages. Elementary textbook. Not about theories, not about the ideas, but the, about the doctrine and about the criminal code as a whole. Yes, it was written, well, at the end of uh, 18th century, but it is works up to date. If you look for the uh, chapter on complicity, you have a, a very specific information about it. Uh, because sometimes it was, uh, we have always, we have had to, you know, to go to the basics to take this information and to analyze it. So, uh, when we're saying about the, uh, just pardon me, okay, one more participant and we'll get together. So when we're saying some words about the elements of uh, 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 
complicity as a whole, we're seeing that, that we have some persons uh, who are best of doing something uh, in any conspiracy or in any intentional act for getting an intentional criminal act as a whole. Uh, sometimes we're seeing about the distribution of roles. Yes, we're in the theater. And the distribution of roles, it is very popular in our case because uh, sometimes a group of people distribute the criminal roles between others. That is why we have to work with them. That is why we have to get any additional information on doing that. So, a better or a commissioner, the guy or girl who commits crime, the main figure in uh, complicity with the distribution of roles. So better that is a person uh, who is trying to commit an offense. Yes. That is a person who are trying to make a process of commission or uh, making the process of commission as a whole. That is a person who are working uh, with the specific characteristics, uh, his characteristics, that gets the possibility to uh, promote his as commission. What does it mean? You, do you remember the fact, that, for example, when we're uh, saying some words uh, about um, oh, special subject of crime, we're saying that the special subjects of crime, these are the subjects uh, whose specific features uh, are constituting, uh, constituted in uh, general or a special part of criminal law. So the criminal responsibility of special subject should be only if it is pres it prescri prescribes and it is forbidden. That is the idea. That's why, for example, we are uh, getting this information, we are trying to uh, attend the new characteristics of uh, a better, for example, when we're saying about a bet who are working by a specific characteristics of law, who are working on uh, the idea of uh, uh, taking the responsibility of special subject. For example, some uh, civil persons and one military uh, man are working together on promotion of military uh, goods, yes, or promotion of arms. Uh, the, that's why if this deed uh, is only, uh, has only to be done with the military man, we have uh, a complicity uh, in uh, military crime. Or, for example, if uh, some uh, general persons uh, are involved in the process of bribery, yes, they are general persons, they are organized bribery, they are, uh, well, giving some elements of uh, make uh, this bribery possible from one point of view. From the other point of view, there is only one subject of bribery, yes. Who? The person of corruptive crime. Well, we have uh, to analyze the characteristics of uh, corruptive crimes and the um, uh, responsibility on corruptive crimes in one of additional lecture. I have the possibility, may maybe I will uh, put it on uh, our portal uh, on YouTube channel. Well, that's why just look through YouTube channel during all of this period of my YouTube channel, during all this period of time, because, uh, well, I will give you a short glimpse or short information on the new characteristics of uh, what has to be done and what is doing here uh, in the sphere of criminal law and criminal legal doctrine. So at the first time, uh, just, Get into the basics, a better commissioner is the person, uh, a subject of crime, only subject of crime, who commits a crime or uh, commits a crime with specific features. The second point 
uh, what I have to do when the uh, this guy or girl is uh, used uh, a wrong sign object. What do I would do, uh, did we say about the guilty of this abetting? For example, uh, a situation when uh, a person named A inspires a person named B to possess a property, yes, which uh, is uh, in legal possession of uh, a person named Z, but the person named A said to be that after the, he, that is his per, uh, property. That, so that's a fight, that's a failure to understand, and this failure to understand should be criminalized as a betting, but the, before, because the person who commits a crime makes no mistake, uh, makes a mistake, pardon me. The second situation, and uh, when the, the act of uh, misconception is not understandable as a whole, for example, we're using a minor for a betting a crime. So, the person named A uh, inspires a, a minor at 12 year old to kill a person named Z. What do you have to do in this situation? Um, the better, yes, and commissioner is 12 year old. He is not the subject of crime. But in this situation, there will be an abetting, and that's what, because this guy who inspires this element should be uh, qualified as a commissioner of crime too. So commission of crime and act is abetted is the, uh, in the, the case well um, when uh, attempt should be a result of a uh, specific uh, deed of uh, a better with the help of uh, person who are not subjects of crime. Sometimes we have uh, the different analysis and different characteristics of this uh, understanding of who commissioner is when uh, uh, there is a choice of excesses. For example, uh, a guy named A try to uh, inspire a guy named B to burn a house. Yes, and the guy may be taken. Uh, well, Machus came to this house, just tried to arrest him, to fire it, arrest him, but before it, he stole some uh, property for this house. That's why, for example, we have an act of uh, commission. Uh, during this act, then a better uh, should be the same person, but the excess of a better should be the element of uh, only uh, responsibility of one person, not uh, a better as a whole. So, commissioner or perpetrator or a better that's a naturally uh, a person who is exploiting the specific uh, activity in primary uh, act or in indirect act of activity, when we are saying about the age, or we're saying about the insanity, when we, well, when some of uh, the betters uh, use the insane uh, people as a whole. In Article 27 of the Criminal Code of Ukraine saying just ask about this situation. The next person, organizer of crime. The next person, organizer of crime. Uh, what should you say about the organizer? Yes. Well, from one point of view, it's very simple. It's, it's an organizer of crime, uh, it is a person who organized, committing, manages preparation of this act and uh, supervise them. So, organizing, supervising, managing. Three elements of uh, organizer's activity. As usual, an angry organizer of the crime is not working uh, in the field. After uh, uh, the situation when Ukraine has uh, adopted some international laws on combating crimes of terrorism, on combating uh, uh, 
financing terrorism, on combating uh, dirty money laundering, and so on and so forth. Uh, a definition of organizer and understander of organizers' uh, functions uh, was widespread. Now, for example, in Article 27 of Criminal Code of Ukraine, we're saying that uh, organizer is a person who not only organizes a committee of crime, yes, by the group of people, group of subjects of crime, me, but also who supervise, create organized groups, supervise on its activity, manages it, makes financing, organized uh, uh, hiring of crime, and so on and so forth. I don't know for what reason should we do that, but from the other point of view, we have, for example, specific norms in criminal court of Ukraine that uh, it's a special part of criminal court of Ukraine, which are connected with the act of terrorism, which are connected with the state treason, which are connected with the uh, money laundering, or which are connected with the participation in organized group, specific acts, yes, um, for financing and so on and so forth. That's why, for example, to do the same elements or, or to include the same elements in uh, the characteristics of, uh, well, the vectors, I don't know for what reason our legislator is do, was doing that. Yes, that is an obligation of the state to include some elements of uh, international responsibility in uh, well, state's legislation, from one point of view. From the second point of view, you know that criminal court, the criminal court as a whole, is, uh, well, specified, or is specified on, uh, the, on the ideology. And this kind of ideology means that the legislation uh, or uh, characteristics of uh, international law, which uh, uh, becomes a part of national law, yes, should be included in criminal code, and after that should, it should be worked. It is not working uh, solely, it is not working uh, by uh, the main idea. Well, uh, uh, this will bother me. They say that uh, this day we have only uh, 10 minutes to work together, and we should use uh, this uh, on what, this 10 minutes. And after that, we'll, uh, I will give an additional information to you at this lecture, on an additional part of this lecture, you know, at my web resource, uh, what my, my YouTube channel it will be simpler to do. Uh, so, Instigator, instigator, the next element. So we'll, I'll try to uh, reach all the information during these 10 minutes. So instigator, that is the person who uh, encourages, who are trying to induce, to provoke a crime with the help of formatting of uh, in the commissioner's intention by the help of the threats, by the help of uh, 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 by the help of, uh, uh, pardon me, I have not find, just wait, wait a minute, please. There is, there is a gap. Okay. Uh, so, threat, money, abuse, use of power for uh, inducing uh, some elements of crime, and that's why it would be very interesting to do uh, that. Aider, 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 it's a very specific figure because sometimes aider's responsibility is very big, sometimes it's uh, uh, null and void. So, aider's responsibility is null and void when uh, an aider can't give and any advice can give and any services to help to provide an intention of crime in preliminary manner. So if he did it in preliminary, he as usual be responsible for its criminal activity for all the conspiracy and so on and so forth. So 
either has assist to help with means of crime, to hide the criminal acts, or how help to hide the crime as a whole. That's the main characteristics of aiders. That's why uh, when we're saying about the complicity with distribution of rules, we're saying about commissioner, is in primary or indirect matter. We're saying about organizer, we're saying about instigator, and we're saying about aider. These are main roles which are uh, given us in Article uh, 27 of Criminal uh, Code of Ukraine. The next elements, con conspiracy and ideas of mafia and so on and so forth. You know that uh, it's uh, a very specific element and uh, uh, due to uh, United Nations Convention on Combating Organized Transnational Crime, uh, which was signed uh, in the year 2000 uh, by United Nations, and this convention, the support of Ukrainian legislation, uh, a country has to uh, has to um, nominate the characteristics of specific or specific elements of criminal groups. That's why we have a specific article in Article 28 of uh, Criminal Code of Ukraine where this nomination is collected. What does it mean? I'm saying about uh, uh, at first, we uh, should say that um, a crime should be committed by the group of two or more uh, people without preliminary request. For example, we have a fight, yes, somewhere in the street, and we have an act of uh, murdership when some people uh, use uh, this uh, acts of violence or something else, something else, without any preliminary request. The same uh, situation with preliminary request, they uh, have agreed before the complete crime. Organized group, <laughs> very specific elements because, uh, well, it depends on circumstances. Some people said that organized group should be, I know, uh, some of Ukrainian uh, scientists said that the organized group should be uh, characterized as organized if it consists only two people. Uh, but due to international standards, the only organized group, group in Ukrainian uh, criminal code is uh, it can consist of three or more persons who preparate or makes an intention for a preliminary agreement to commit a crime with a spe special uh, plan, with a special organizing of it. That is one of the elements that is usual. We say about the organized group, conspiracy. In Ukrainian, in German, in French, criminal law as a whole, so in most European uh, country, conspiracy, that means criminal organization, which just created, which is created uh, uh, for sustainable criminal activity. It is hierarchical organization, which is, which have some, Ranks, yes, the boss of mafia, lieutenants, uh, some people who work uh, on the streets, and so on and so forth. By, by the way, you know every criminal movie which is connected with the mafia activities, and so on and so forth. Just try to remember The Godfather, yes, and all the developments uh, which uh, uh, are characterizes the traditional crime, uh, organized crime with sustainable criminal activity with the sustainable acts of commission. Some people say that, so that modern organized crime is uh, as traditional one is connected with the distribution of uh, uh, goods, distribution of farms, trade of people, and so on and so forth. But as usual, just as I told you about that, as usual, the modern criminal organized crime is connected with uh, drugs and drug abuses, uh, prostitution uh, and uh, uh, forfeiting of goods, forfeiting of goods and forfeiting of medicine, especially forfeiting of uh, medicine. So conspiracy criminal organization that the hierarchical sustainable uh, unit of five 
and more people, there are three organized groups, and criminal organization, five. So five or more people who are organized, preliminary, organized uh, intent to uh, commit a felony, to commit a, a crime with a specific characteristic. So there is no, there is no, uh, there is no possible to organize a crime or to get any info to commit a, uh, uh, Organized crime by organized group, and when I say about petty or minor offenses, so uh, we are organizing and coordinating all of the activity to promote the function of criminal group, to promote the idea. The main principle which I have to uh, give you, or the last moment, uh, it is the principle of individual culpability. So people, when they commit a you know, uh, complicity, crime of complicity, are agreed, and that is why the perpetrator uh, is responsible for his deed. Organizer and other are responsible by the specific uh, elements of uh, Article 29 and special uh, part of criminal court which are used in this situation. That is why individual responsibility, that is the main element that I'll try to give you a new glimpse of this information after it and in my uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining us together. I hope you have a, a good uh, well Thursday, Tuesday, pardon me, and we have a very interesting lectures after. Thank you for coming and thank you for joining me this day. Well, first, I know all the guys that you'd hire to come after me. They like me better than you. Second, you're not going to go to the cops. Well, it's basically you're not going to go to the cops. Third, you shook Sinatra's hand. You should know better, really.